Well, good evening. The spring storm has idle traffic on the interstates in South Dakota. Interstate 90 from Sioux Falls to Rapid City remains closed. The same goes for Interstate 29 from Sioux Falls all the way to the North Dakota border. Kelloland's Perry Groton has been talking with drivers coping with the closures. The April snowstorm has drivers longing to hit the road for warmer destinations. Um, I've lived here my whole life and last year I moved to Florida for nine months and I just came back two weeks ago and I hate it. With Interstate 29 closed, Angela Bott took the icy back roads into Sioux Falls to buy a generator because the power's out at her home in Chester. You drive out the driveway and there's miles of power lines broken and down, so it's going to be a while. The poor road conditions forced home health worker Jody Retzlaff to change her appointments. I had to miss a client this morning because the interstate was closed and I needed to use the interstate to get over there, but someone managed to take over that client for me today and then I just drove through town and, well, I'm just waiting for this to go away. John Van Middendorp is a manager with a courier company that can't make some important deliveries of meds because of the closed interstates. And if anyone's super brave and wants to try all the no travel advised back roads for, you know, a patient who's life and death, you know, end of life situation, I've got a couple of people who go try. So, so yeah, it, it, it makes it hard. Well, despite the inconvenience and the impact to livelihoods, drivers say closing the interstates is a good idea to keep people safe in the store. I think that's good because it keeps people that shouldn't be out off the roads. People who avoid the interstate say traveling on the back roads isn't much better. Those roads are also icy and windswept, forcing drivers to slow way down to get to their destination safely.